Hi everyone, Shane from the Reptile Doctor. And this is a dragon, and dragon is a female central bitter dragon. And she came in as a referral from another veterinary practice who was struggling to work out what was wrong with her. She actually came in because she was having some issues with this back left leg. Wasn't using it properly and seemed in a bit of, bit of trouble. So we've done the work up on her and what we've actually found is that she's got something going on internally, probably a retained egg or similar. So we're going to go in and surgically see what's happening inside, but I just wanted to show you that she was a little bit thin. It's a bit hard to see probably on the video, but the area behind her head here is quite sunken in. So she's lost a bit of condition through there. And if we look down the tail end here, you can see that her hip bones are actually sitting out a bit. And on this view, her backbone in the tail is also quite prominent. So she's lost a bit of condition because of whatever's going on inside. So we're going to go ahead and anaesthetise her now and see what we find. So I've got Dragon anaesthetised and we're just about to make the incision. So we're going to make it just off the midline here because there's a large vein that runs down the middle. So we want to avoid that. And we're going to be going aiming on the right hand side here because on the ultrasound we can see that whatever it is that's stuck in there is on the right hand side. So we'll make that incision. I've made that incision in her belly and immediately you can see the follicle sitting down inside here. So the owner wants to continue to breed this lizard, so we're not going to spay her or desex her. We're just going to find what it is that seems to be stuck in here and remove that and leave everything else as is so that she can hopefully be bred in the future. So this is our offending item and just me handling and trying to get that up, trying to get the uterus up out of the actual body that's just popped out the wall of the uterus so and effectively what it is is an old retained slug, I think it's actually two of them so it might even be three looking at that, sort of one there, one sitting here and one at the end so that was never coming out, so we've taken that out, now we're just going to explore around inside her belly cavity and just see if we can find anything else that's so not quite right. I've just been having a feel around inside her abdominal cavity and what I've been able to find is that she's got lots of these very hard, sort of irregular shaped nodules through most of her abdominal cavity and these are probably follicles that have dropped off into the abdominal cavity and just become solidified and had lots of adhesions placed around them. And I found, uh, well, it's one, two, three, found one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe eight of those. So we're just carefully taking those out of her, her belly cavity because they can act like foreign bodies and they just cause a problem. So this one's the biggest one. And that's just going to Gently break down the adhesions. And out it comes. So I just have another feel around. And here's another one I've just found. So there's another, another sort of horrible looking follicle. So the uterus in these guys is often very thin, it's a bit like sort of cling wrap, glad wrap, so we often don't stitch it, but this one's actually quite thick, so I'm going to close this, we'll just reconstruct that back into a tube, and then we'll pop it all back in the belly cavity, stitch her up, wake her up and hopefully she'll go on and have a normal reproductive life. So I've stitched up that uterus and I've popped it back into the belly cavity. So I'm gonna go ahead and just close up the subcutaneous tissues and the skin now, and then we'll wake her up. So we've stitched her up now. She's got three little stitches in the skin. We'll give that a bit of a clean up. We'll give her some fluids and anti-inflammatories. Uh, anti 
and we'll wake her up. And I just wanted to show you what we ended up getting out of her inside. So all these hard, retained sort of horrible follicles. And this was the big one that we saw on the ultrasound here, but I think she's going to feel a lot better for having those out of her belly cavity. So we'll go ahead and wake her up, send her home this afternoon.